up guys I'm back with another video in this video I will discuss my top three most underrated places in Thailand we will discuss three different places the last one on the list we will talk about is a uh, pizza new York, Thailand on the second place we have Con Ken Thailand and on the first place I will talk about Chiang Rai Thailand which is one of my favorite places in Thailand so um, without further ado let's get the video started so the first place I will talk about is Pizza Nulok Pizza Nulok is a pretty big province in central Thailand I think most of you guys have never been there it's a pretty unknown province for foreigners but it's actually pretty popular with a uh, local Thai people I think a lot of local Thai people they uh, come here on holiday and I ended up here by accident because I was actually looking for a bus to a different place I couldn't find the bus so um, I just took a bus to a random place watched some uh, YouTube videos about this place and uh, hopped on the bus and uh, yeah there I was Pizza Nulok so um, and to my surprise Pizza Nulok is one of the most beautiful places I've been in Thailand so far as you can see here um, we were driving from the city Pizza Nulok we were driving to a little village called uh, Ban Mung we were going there because that village is famous for the migration of bats and it's around an 80 kilometer drive from um, the city of Pizza Nulok on the way we, uh, we drove by many beautiful landscapes and uh, as you can see here we took a little break in a, a small in a small bar slash restaurant which had like a, a cowboy vibe and uh, was really beautiful um, after our little break we continued driving to the village of Ban Mung and uh, as you can see as we almost arrive in the village it's already uh, surrounded by the beautiful and tall limestone rocks uh, apparently this village is very famous for its limestone rocks and uh, that's where we are headed right now right now we are actually driving to a bar slash hotel that's called Hak Cafe and Homestay this place is apparently very famous among Thai people I've never heard about it before but uh, it's one of the most cool hotels I've ever seen in my life it's like uh, just a camping ground where you can sleep in uh, tents you can sleep in little cottages you can sleep in trailers and uh, you can sleep in cars it's so random and uh, so original I've never seen a place like this before we actually came here because this place has many viewpoints where you can see uh, the millions of bats uh, leaving the cave so we will have a little drink here we will walk around a little bit and uh, we will take in the surroundings because as you can see the hotel and the bar is surrounded by the beautiful limestone rocks and around this time the sun was about to set and in a couple of minutes we were told that uh, millions of bats would leave the caves to actually go uh, and find food so that's what we're waiting for and in the meantime we're just uh, having a walk around in, uh, in the hotel taking some drone shots and waiting for the bats to appear so around 6 p.m. the bats finally appeared and I have to say this is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever saw in my life as you can see we were perfect perfectly situated for uh, the bats leaving uh, all the caves in the mountains they flew right above us and it's honestly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life just alone for this experience um, I would come to Pizza Nulok because uh, I don't think there are many places in the world where you can see a phenomenon like this and uh, that's why this place is actually so famous it's just uh, not yet famous with foreigners the next day we decided to uh, stay in the city of Pizza Nulok which is actually a pretty big city right now we are visiting one of the most famous temples in Thailand actually I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name I linked the name in uh, the bottom of the video but uh, the name is pretty long and pretty hard to say so uh, I'm not even gonna try but uh, yeah this temple is so beautiful and it was so busy because we were visiting this place during Chinese New Year 
so all the Thai people were uh, making merit and uh, the atmosphere was very good. Also, I uh, took the opportunity to buy a little talisman because it's one of the most famous and sacred temples in Thailand. So uh, here you can see I'm choosing a, a little souvenir and uh, this is supposed to protect me from the ghosts in my apartment. I still have it standing on my uh, bed stand next to my bed. And yeah, it was just a really great experience to visit this temple during Chinese New Year and watch all the ceremonies go by. And uh, definitely worth a visit because uh, as I said, it's one of the most famous and sacred temples in Thailand. And then to end our little visit, we ended up um, in some local bar in the city of Pizza Nulok. And uh, this place was so cool. They had live music, good food, cheap drinks. And uh, as you can see, it's like only Thai people, I think. They haven't seen many foreigners here before, because when I was walking around and uh, looking at the show, everybody was waving at me and everybody was looking at me and yeah everybody was also so friendly so uh, if you're in a place like this or anywhere else in thailand that is not so familiar with tourists and foreigners definitely go to some local local nightclub or some local bar where they play the live music because the atmosphere is so great and everybody is so friendly and uh, yeah all in all as you can see the trip to Pizza Nulok was uh, definitely a memorable one and that's why I put it in my top 3 most underrated places in Thailand. On the second place we have Khon Ken, Thailand which is a city and province in the, the northeast region of Thailand called Isan. It's one of the big four cities in Isan. The other three big cities are Ubon Rochatani, Udon Thani and Korat. Right now I find myself in Konken, in the city of Konken, in the province of Konken. I got to know this city very well because my girlfriend used to live here and uh, I went here maybe four or five times so I got to know the city very well and I have to say it has become one of my favorite places in Thailand and I could definitely see myself live here in the future. Kong Ken is full of really nice uh, markets as you can see in the next scene. I find myself in a Ton Ten night market which is such a cool place. There's so many great street food options. There's so many shops. It's also just very beautiful to walk around. There are many restaurants. Um, there are many food courts like um, in the middle where you can sit with many food stalls around there are many shops for clothing many massage places you can literally find everything in this night market and uh, yeah it's actually a very big place it's always crowded and uh, the atmosphere here is so nice it's one of the favorite night markets i've ever been in thailand and uh, i can definitely recommend coming here in the next scene you will see a, a different night market called the um, Ruen Rom Night Food Market which is a, a little bit of a smaller market and uh, it's, it's not there every day. I think it's only there in the weekend and uh, it's not too big. Here you can find many street food stalls and uh, you can try many delicious Thai food. It's very local and it's very um, comfortable to just walk around and uh, see the local life and that's what I did in Konken mostly just go to night markets eat the local Thai food and uh, just enjoy the nice atmosphere because everybody in this city is so friendly because there are not many foreigners who live here and definitely not many tourists who come visit this place. Konken is also full of super nice buffet restaurants to eat Mugata or Shabu and the prices are so good here as you can see right now we are sitting at a local Shabu place, uh, I mean Mugata, we're sitting at a local Mugata place and uh, it's so delicious and so cheap. So uh, if you like food and you like Thai food and you like the cheaper lifestyle then uh, Kong Ken is definitely one of the best places to go in Thailand because everything is so affordable yet everything is of the same quality as you can find in Bangkok because Kong Ken is actually a pretty modern city I found. It's uh, more modern and developed than uh, other cities in Isan. 
and uh, yeah it's like definitely like a, a smaller version of Bangkok and uh, a more authentic more local version Konken is also full of uh, beautiful temples as you can see here this is one of the most beautiful temples I've ever seen in my life this temple in particular is called Wat Nong Wang and uh, as you can see this temple just looks amazing um, it's like fully covered in gold it's uh, so different from all the other temples I've seen in Thailand so far so uh, we gave it a visit uh, not went to do some merit and to do some prayers uh, we went inside I got to speak to the monk and he gave me a bracelet for uh, good luck and uh, then we were on our way in the next scene you can see that we are visiting uh, a national park this national park really blew my mind because I didn't expect that uh, Kong Ken would have uh, such nice nature surrounding the city uh, this national park is called uh, Nam Pong National Park which looks, uh, which looks uh, this park looks over the Ubal Ratana Lake so um, the park is pretty high up and uh, it has an amazing view over the Ubal Ratana Lake and uh, it's absolutely breathtaking it's one of the last things I expected to see when coming to uh, Kong Ken because Isan is usually pretty flat but uh, yeah, the viewpoint on top of this national park is uh, absolutely stunning and uh, I was there all by myself uh, it seems that this place is not very popular among local and Thai tourists so I had the whole park to myself as you can see I was just uh, walking around by myself and um, yeah I just had an amazing time and it's definitely one of the most beautiful parks I've ever seen in Thailand and uh, that's why um, I put Kong Ken also on uh, the number two place because this this province also definitely has a lot to offer when it comes to a nice nature and then of course when it comes to nightlife Kong Ken is definitely not a boring place there's so many good options to go out and to go party um, it's not really Falang and like it's not really Falang orientated so uh, most of the nightlife is pretty local it's not like Udon Thani or Chiang Mai where you can still find like a foreigner orient oriented uh, red light districts here the nightlife is a uh, purely uh, focused on Thai people and uh, that's why it has such an authentic feel the nightlife is also pretty modern and you have a lot of choice and uh, you can go to many different places where they play many different music right now I find myself in uh, the typical Isan branch nightclub Tawan Deng which has uh, like live music and later on in the night it turns into a nightclub when uh, everybody has finished their food and everybody gets drunk then everybody starts dancing here it's a little bit more of um, an older crowd but uh, there are definitely a lot of other options uh, to go party as you can see in the next scene I find myself in uh, Ubar Kong Ken which is a big nightclub in the center of Kong Ken close to the small foreigner oriented uh, red light district or entertainment area with a lot of bars it's very close to that place very close to uh, the Pullman Hotel so this nightclub is really in the center of the city and uh, sometimes not always they play uh, pretty decent music and uh, it's full of pretty girls and the atmosphere is good I was definitely the only foreigner here but uh, I still had fun because everybody is so friendly and welcoming also there are a lot of cool bars in Kong Ken as you can see in uh, this scene we are uh, walking to Warp Zone which is a cool local bar where uh, my girlfriend took me to meet her friends it's a very chill place also with live music as most of the places here have live, live music where you can just chill with your friends have a couple of beers before going out and uh, enjoy the atmosphere the prices of alcohol here are also very cheap it's uh, it's very cheap to drink here and um, you definitely won't break the bank and uh, outside of the normal nightclubs and the normal uh, bars there's also a lot of university area nightlife options 
because Konken is a university city so uh, yeah there is definitely no shortage in uh, beautiful Thai girls because uh, many girls and uh, young people go here to university so uh, that's why the city has like a very young and uh, vibrant feel in the next scene and the last club I will show is uh, one of the newer clubs in, uh, in Konken which is called uh, the library club this club is so modern it's a club that you would expect to see in, uh, in Bangkok it's uh, such a high-tech nice environment and uh, the prices are still pretty cheap it's not too expensive the music is super good and uh, yeah it's definitely one of the best nightclubs uh, I've seen so far in, uh, in Thailand and uh, I definitely recommend it to give it a try and uh, yeah all in all that's why I uh, put Kong Ken on the second place of the most underrated places in Thailand because I think not many foreigners know about this place and not many foreigners know um, about how much this place actually has to offer it reminds me a little bit of Bangkok but then a smaller more authentic version and uh, yeah that's why I put it on my second place and now let's move on to the number one spot of the most underrated places in Thailand so on the number one spot we have Chiang Rai Thailand Chiang Rai is definitely one of the best places I've ever been in my life and also in Thailand of course so uh, as you can see here I'm sitting on the bus I'm traveling from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai it was the first time ever for me to come here so I had no idea what to expect I was expecting just a similar city to uh, Chiang Mai but it turned out that I liked uh, Chiang Rai much more than Chiang Mai it's uh, much more local there are less backpackers and less tourists in general it's a very quiet place but there's still a lot to do uh, Chiang Rai is one of the most northern places in Thailand the landscapes are absolutely breathtaking and uh, what I found is that Chiang Rai, the city of Chiang Rai is one of the cleanest and uh, most beautiful cities I've seen in Thailand so far everywhere I went in the city everything was so clean there were no rats, no trash on the streets everything is just so well taken care of and uh, immediately when I arrived I was uh, pleasantly surprised also I found that uh, the people all the way up north um, in Chiang Rai are one of the most friendly people I've ever met in my life in general Thailand is a very friendly country but uh, I found that uh, Chiang Rai all the way up north um, the people are even more friendly so um, why do I like Chiang Rai so much let's start off with uh, the beautiful things you can do in the city Chiang Rai is home to one of the most beautiful temples in Thailand as you will see in the next scene where I will uh, drive around on my motorbike and uh, visit them all the first temple I went to is uh, called the White Temple Wat Rong Khun and uh, this is probably one of the most famous temples in Thailand and uh, also the most beautiful temple I've ever seen in my life as you can see the architecture of this temple is absolutely crazy like uh, look at the heads sticking out of the ground representing the depths of hell it's just uh, something different than uh, any temple I've seen before we talked about the temple that I saw in Konken which was also stunningly beautiful but this temple is just uh, on another level it's so so different from every temple I've ever seen before just the white color and the detail in the architecture is just absolutely amazing in the same place you can find a different temple a golden one I don't know what the name is of this temple but this one also looked absolutely amazing totally covered in gold shining in uh, the middle of uh, in the middle of the grounds and uh, it's just so beautiful I'm just taking a walk to go check it inside there's like a store and a museum inside where you can uh, just visit and uh, walk around this temple was also absolutely stunning I'm not even sure if it's a temple it's just a very beautiful building next to the white temple and then after that I went to uh, visit another temple 
also a very famous one. This one is called the Blue Temple, also one of the most famous temples in Thailand. It's a half an hour drive from the White Temple and it's located a little bit out of the city. These temples in Chiang Rai are really something else, like uh, I don't know why they uh, have so many special temples here and uh, why they are so different from the other temples in Thailand. But uh, the Blue Temple is definitely also worth a visit. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning as well. And uh, these temples are not too crowded, even though they are very, very famous in Thailand. Here in the Blue Temple, it was already late and I was almost one of the only visitors in this temple. And normally, I don't go visit temples as much anymore because I've seen so many already. But yeah, this one was definitely worth it as well. Then when it comes to the nature in Chiang Rai, it's definitely breathtaking as well. The whole province is basically in the mountains and it's one of the most beautiful mountainous regions I've seen in Thailand so far. Um, maybe only some regions in the south can compare, but uh, I've found driving around here in the mountains of Chiang Rai, it's even more beautiful than uh, the mountains of Pai in Chiang Mai. Uh, right now I'm visiting one of the many tea farms in the in the province. There are so many farms that uh, produce tea here and uh, I found myself one of the most famous ones where I uh, hang out a bit, where I try the, t the local tea and uh, where I'm just driving around on my motorbike surrounded by all the farms and uh, the smell here is just amazing. It's so nice to drive around here. And uh, from this point on, I will venture out further into the mountains, as you can see in the next scene. In the next scene, I find myself on a small dirt road. I'm looking for some uh, cafe deep in the mountains. And uh, the route that Google Maps sent me cannot be reached by car, but it's possible to reach it by motorbike. So right now, I find myself on my motorbike, driving alongside some uh, dirt road in the middle of the mountains there's absolutely no people the whole drive to the cafe i was by myself just driving alone in the mountains and as you can see here i just took a little quick stop to uh, take in the view because the views here driving around in chiang rai are just absolutely amazing i took a little moment to take a thumbnail for the video i made back then and yeah, it was one of the most beautiful drives I've ever made in my life. I preferred it even more than uh, the drive I took to Pai, which also has a lot of stunning views. Then at last, I arrived in the cafe. I thought it was a hill tribe, but the cafe is just called Hill Tribe Cafe. So I was a little bit confused. Also, the cafe was closed. There was nobody there. So uh, I think there were some renovations going on. I visited this place during Covid so maybe that's why there were no people and the bar was closed. So it was just me by myself taking in the surroundings and the beautiful mountains. And uh, a couple of minutes later I uh, walked into some random private house because I thought it was a bar. But it was actually not a bar, it was a private residence and uh, <laughs> I just walked around in their house without knowing. It was a, a house and uh, not a bar, but uh, as you can see in the video, the house has an absolutely amazing terrace with an amazing view of uh, the mountains of Chiang Rai and uh, all the personnel who was working there, they were very confused because uh, they could see I thought it was a bar, but they were actually just like housekeepers working in the house. And yeah, as you can see in the video, the view here is absolutely amazing. If this was to become a bar, it would definitely be a successful one because uh, I've never seen like uh, a bar with a view like this. The location is absolutely stunning, so maybe in the future they should make it a bar as well. Another cool place that you can visit in Chiang Rai is uh, the Golden Triangle. It's a little bit more up north. It's maybe a, a one hour, a one and a half hour drive all the way up north into a small village where you can find uh, the, go the Golden Triangle. It's where three countries meet, Thailand, Myanmar and Laos. And 250 kilometers uh, further up north, you even have China. I took my bike up here and uh, I booked a little boat ride and uh, drove around in the boat um, on the Mekong River. 
which was such a cool experience to be like so close to three countries like if he wanted to he could drop me off at each border of the country and I could just like enter the country without any problem because there is not much going on here there's not much uh, people that live here is very very quiet and very calm and a lot of people come here to do a visa run and uh, yeah it's definitely such a beautiful place to uh, to explore and uh, yeah it's definitely one of the more cool experiences I did in Thailand just renting a small boat and uh, driving alongside the shores of the three different countries so I can definitely recommend to do this as well the drive up here was also pretty cool but uh, contrary to the to the previous drives I took in Chiang Rai the drive all the way up north was actually very flat the land was very flat and reminded me a little bit of uh, Isan province in the northeast of Thailand so uh, yeah definitely a lot of different uh, a lot of vari variety in uh, the nature of Chiang Rai and being a guy who likes to go out of course the nightlife is something that I take in consideration and to my surprise the nightlife in Chiang Rai for being such a small city was super vibrant with a lot of choice and a lot of nightclubs and it was full every day of the week no matter if it was weekend or Wednesday the clubs were always busy I think this is because Chiang Rai is also a city which has many universities and of course uh, the young people want to go out as well right now I find myself in a, in a typical Thai nightclub which plays like a Thai EDM music where uh, everybody is going crazy and everybody's having a good time I just went here for a couple of hours to have uh, to have some drinks and then later on in the night I um, explored some other clubs in this party district uh, one of the clubs I discovered was a dab hip-hop club this club was so cool they played amazing music they played like old-school rap and hip-hop music and uh, this is the place where I find myself uh, a couple of times this week that I went to Chiang Rai I made some local friends and uh, we just partied there almost every night of the week and uh, I have to say this club plays one of the best music that I've heard in Thailand so far which is uh, very rare as I'm, be as I'm being here in such a small city so um, yeah I could definitely live here the nightlife is amazing the city is so clean and friendly the surroundings are amazing so uh, if I would ever move away from Bangkok then uh, I would definitely consider to uh, to live in Chiang Rai so with that said I will end the video here I hope you guys learned something and I hope to see you guys in the next one thank you for watching bye bye